Hi everybody, welcome back to Esoteric Music Machine's World Headquarters. Today I'm talking about another one of my favorite instruments, the Elitone Multisynth. The most fun I've ever had patching a modular synthesizer, and it costs slightly less than 100 US dollars. Um, you'll notice there are four unlabeled buttons, four unlabeled knobs. Why? Because depending on how you patch it together, the knobs and the buttons change their functions. And what's a little more subtle here among these jumper cables is there are five input jacks here and then six output modules here that you can connect up to the different input jacks however you like. The functions of the five input jacks are waveform, voicing, synthesis mode, speeds, and rhythms and envelopes. You know what? Don't worry about it. Just patch it together. Now, the, different, the six different um, output modules each produce or tell the central unit to produce different arrays of what I just said. Um, depending on what module you have connected to the voicing module, you're going to get different ideas about voicing. Depending on which module you connect to the waveform module, you'll get different waveforms. The most important one is probably the mode select input, which is right in the middle. The different synthesis modes are wavetables, patterns, FM synthesis, an infinite bouncing ball sequencer, an experimental cosine grain synthesis engine, and finally the panic voice engine, which uses something that Alice calls data distortion. Sounds awesome to me. Now, one thing you might notice is that each of these six output modules that determine these different kinds of information coming into the different input jacks, there's only two of them. So that means that per module, you can only have two of these parameters being controlled by a given module, which gives you a total of 3,600 patch patterns. That's very exciting, but I love this instrument so much, I wanted more. And I'm gonna tell you how you can get more by using breadboards. Now, if you don't know what a breadboard is, probably you should ask Wikipedia. But basically, these are designed to allow you to connect jumper cables and various electrical components without soldering. So each of these five vertical rows of jacks is actually a passive multiplier. Anything you connect into one of these vertical sets of um, jacks is gonna be connected to anything else you put into that little vertical column of five jacks. So we can use this to split out a single signal into four other signals. Now you might notice that is not quite enough to produce the six signals that we were looking for. So I'll show you how to do it. And why would you wanna do this? Because this is gonna unlock a total of 7,776 patching patterns. And you know what? If I have to choose between 3,600 and 7,776, as long as it's something that I like, and patches on the Elitone Multisys are something that I like, I'm gonna go for more. So I'll show you how. So here it is, my hacked and malted Multisynth. As you can see, I've got a double jumper cable coming out of each of the modules and going into two rows of each of these breadboards. Why did I use six different breadboards? Just for visual clarity, really. I actually could have fit enough jacks onto a single breadboard because these particular breadboards, which are very small, are still 17 columns wide. So that would have been enough for my purposes, but kind of crowded for the ergonomics. So each of these breadboards, if I want to connect one of these five output jacks or even all of them, to any given one of these modules, all I have to do is plug in the output jack directly below one of these jacks here. So I'll show you how I set that up. I'm actually gonna use this single module, which is the first output module in the synthesis engines, to um, connect to every single one of these input jack parameters, which is something I would not have been able to do 
without multiplying the signal like this. Okay, so I've patched it all together. These are the output jacks and every single one of them is now connected into a malted output on this breadboard that then feeds into one of these two cables that are connected to this synthesis module. So now I'm able to control every single parameter on the multi-synth out of just this one module. And you're gonna be able to do that with any of the modules and for the first time in absolutely any combination that you want. So what does this sound like for this particular patch? It sounds like this. So that's how you do it. If you want to know what a hacked Elitone multi-synth, a malted multi-synth sounds like, check out my video, Angel of the Cleansing Fire. It contains almost entirely patches that can only be done when you've hacked your multi-synth in this way. So I really encourage you, A, to get an Elitone multi-synth, and B, use 10 more dollars of your pocket money to get some breadboards and extra jumper cables. I think you're going to have a lot of fun.